All right, everybody. Uh, this is Simon. And this is Vinny. And we're back for part three of episode three. Yes. Uh, we're going to try and do this a little quicker. Um, hopefully, we'll get this down to three segments instead of four. We've said that the last two times, though, and ended up with four. So yeah. if we run over, you know what? You can deal with it. But uh, as you can tell, uh, maybe from how I'm talking, <laughs> that there's been some time elapsed between when we recorded part two and we're now because we had some microphone problems. So in that time that we were figuring out our microphone problems, I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully this will be funnier now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've been pacing myself, but. <laughs> Vinny's a lush. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what. what have you heard that phrase, a lush? Yeah, I don't really know what it means. Me either. That's a weird. I think it's somebody who can't hold their liquor. Yeah. Or can't hold their beer or whatever, but I don't know for sure. Um, and I shouldn't say that because I know you can because you're from, like, a family of <laughs> people who drink a lot. So <laughs> Yeah. You've been drinking since you were, like, 12, right? Yeah. <laughs> My liquor is held. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, commercial segment. I was hoping you were going to say something. No, I didn't, I didn't realize. No. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for you to say something that I saw you were right. drinking. Yeah. Um, well, okay. This week, uh, for the first time, I'm going to actually kind of praise a commercial instead of uh, ragging on a commercial. And this one is uh, mostly for, for people who watch late night TV. Uh, Vinny also pointed out earlier that it, it's also on uh, daytime TV. Yeah. If, you watch, if you're unemployed and you watch some daytime TV, <laughs> you'll see these commercials. It's the Education Connection commercials with the girl singing the song. The I could I could probably sing the whole song right now, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, but the you know, it's it's weird. What's great about this commercial is that it's an actual song, and it, it has a chorus that repeats. And re- repetition is like the oldest form of marketing. It's the oldest way to like get a message to stick in somebody's head. But they do it in a way that where it it, it actually seems like a song. It doesn't seem like a, a message repeating. But it is like, you know, education, connection, whatever, you know. <laughs> yeah, it even kind of has a breakdown in there. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I listened to the song on YouTube, mm. and it had a bass line that wasn't, my TV doesn't pick up the bass line. Yeah. I I can't remember if my if I've heard the bass line on the TV or in the, the online videos, but, you know. Yeah. It, it's, it's a pretty banging song. <laughs> I know a long time ago I looked up, and, and the guy who actually wrote the song is like a kind of indie musician, and he had it on his webpage. Hmm. <laughs> I like him playing it on his, you know, acoustic guitar at like an open mic night or something. Yeah, like that. it's kind of <laughs> like the uh, FreeCartReport.com commercials. Don't they just like get some dude, write some songs? Those guys were not in a band before those commercials. Really? Right. And, well, now there's a new band because they had that big campaign to find a new band. But yeah. I don't know. Those commercials were always kind of like hit or miss, I guess. You know, there are catchy songs and everything like that, and that was that was the whole point, is that it would be a catchy song. But the Education Connection ones, I think, are, are good because it's a catchy song, but uh, they, they don't, I don't know, they're not trying too hard. <laughs> like, it is clearly just a marketing campaign song, but it's, like, a good one. <laughs> it's, it's the epitome <laughs> of, you know, what they could have done. Um, but what I will say negatively about their campaign, though, is they have not followed up. In that, uh, since that song came out, it must have been like four or five years ago. Yeah. Uh, they, they've they replayed the commercial. They've replayed the commercial with different background colors because the girls green screened and they were able to just, instead of, you know, this one scene where the camera's circling around her from an aerial view, they just go to like, you know, a background of green from background of purple or something like that. So uh, you think they should make like a new song about, uh, well, about maybe what happens? They've, they've tried, and I've seen them do, like, very similar commercials with, like, uh, here's another, like, awkwardly hot girl, and, you know, she's singing a song, and it's just not as good. And I really think um, it was the girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, and that girl, I, ooh, I've, I've said this even to my girlfriend. I've said, like, I, look, I love you, but that girl is, like, just so awkwardly hot, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'll think about her sometimes. You know? <laughs> uh, but I don't know. I, I, I tried to find out who that actress was once, 
And I went online and like did some Google searches and everything like that. And all I found was just like huge flame wars about people thinking she was hot and th- people thinking she wasn't hot. <laughs> and people were like, no, how, no way would I do that chick. And everyone's like, oh, I would totally do that chick. And they're like, oh, you're an idiot. And, you know, just you know how flame wars go. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I can't really remember what she looks like. I think she has like black hair, bangs, brown hair, brunette. Uh. I don't know, man. It's she's like a waitress at a diner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, she that that would just hit it for me, you know. Uh, th- there's that psychological term that's a uh, manic pixie. What's what's the phrase I'm thinking of? Manic pixie. I have no idea. Oh my goodness! I can't believe I forgot this. Uh, manic pixie love interest. That's it's like a psychological term for the protagonist's love interest in any film. Where the idea is that this girl is so weird and like anti social in a way that like if you get with her then she'll save your life kind of way. <laughs> All right. And then the big thing they always use it on is Zoe Deschanel. That one girl from like you know, she's on the new girl now. I yeah, think. like uh Yes Man with Jim Carrey. Was she in it? Yeah. Oh. She she I played know she the was an elf. Yeah, but she yeah she plays the same part in like all of them as the exact role you just described. Right, and it's a, a manic pixie uh, love interest, which is she's manic, she's crazy, and she's a pixie because she's like you know just like dainty and you know. yeah, just just kind of like that awkward girl that that's you know antisocial behavior will rub off on you if you get onto her, and then you'll become like this complete uh, antisocial hero, I guess, if you if you manage to get with her. Oh, 500 Days of Summer. That was the other big one. That she oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was the whole point of that, was that if he got with her, then his life would be saved. But, but I, thought, I thought it was about him breaking up with her. I haven't seen it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen it? I have seen it. Oh, man. I, well, I, the, the, I, from what I've seen, the commercials and everything, it seemed like the whole story was about their relationship. Yeah, it was. But like it was about him like recovering. Mm. Like after the Manic Pixie, whatever you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and Zoe Deschanel, she gets she's like bashed a lot for what she does, but she's just filling a role. And I think this education commercial connect yeah, education connection commercial girl has that same look of like I, I see her and I just think like oh man, if that were on my arm, my life would be safe. <laughs> you know <laughs> that kind of, that kind of look. I don't know. Yeah. So I think that more so than that, because Education Connection also did like college and PJs. It's like the same site. But they also had a commercial for college and PJs, and it was like kind of like a more conventionally hot girl in pajamas saying, like, oh, man, I can go to college from my computer and be in my pajamas. And, like, the whole point was, like, oh, here's a hot girl in pajamas. Go to our website. Yeah, I know that one. That's... But that's not There's no song. Cool. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I do like the education. Actually. I'm going to boast a little bit and say that I was into it before everybody else. <laughs> I could be like into it before everyone else. Well, when I first saw that commercial, I knew instantly that that was a hit. <laughs> and I, I bragged about it to everybody. I said, oh man, have you seen this commercial? Because this girl and this song and this, it just works. And the people who I went to college with knew back then that I was bragging about it. And since then, they have repeated that commercial over and over again in broadcast and just reused it because, like I said <laughs> before they did it. Uh, it, it did hit. It hits it, for some whatever reason hits all the right for me, anyways. For the twenty-something male demographic. Yeah, I mean, I think that's their target audience. So is it? Maybe. I would imagine it'd be twenty-somethings, male or female. Yeah, I mean, it's not really. She's I mean, not... I, and I can't say from the female perspective, but I would assume as, as that manic pixie love interest character. What's what's good about that is is also because she's so awkward, uh, awkward women can relate to it. Yeah, it appeals to both men and women. Right, right. Yeah. So men want to get with it. Men, women want to be her. You know. Although, yeah. So I would assume that all twenty somethings people who are like, oh, maybe I should go to college, are going to see that and be like, yeah, all right, that girl said so. <laughs> yeah. And whether you identify with that girl or identify with wanting to be with that girl, you know. Yeah. Have you have you ever seen the Everest commercials? Uh, what it won't. It's kind of it's the same thing, pretty much. It's about like going to college, on your own time, whatever. But uh, it'll just be like a guy standing on a bridge, and he's like, "You got to get into college now." 
No. Like you sitting on the couch, you got them rolling college today. What you waiting for? And they got like men and female ones. Like they got a bunch of different people. Everest? Yeah, Everest. I don't know. I, I don't know what they are. I've never heard of them. But Is it a college or is it like a, a college finding website? Or something? I think it's a college. Like if you want to go for like a like baby looking. <laughs> no. What? what, what a, uh, sonogram or something. Oh, okay. ultra ultra baby scan. Looking? <laughs> yeah, baby looking. Sonogram, yeah. Ultrasound, not sonogram. <laughs> <laughs> ultrasound engineer. Yeah, no, I I remember seeing commercials about ultrasound engineers or whatever they are. Yeah. Is that an engineer or is that a technician? I think it's a technician. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I remember seeing those. I don't remember anybody talking to me in like a, a very urban voice like you just used so. yeah no they're pretty urban commercials so i watch yeah. i watch some bet so i mean it's on there a lot <laughs> what do you watch on bet i don't know they got you like 108 in park no 105 in park i think it's 108 okay That's right. oh maybe it's 107 <laughs> i just can't get this right can i i'm messing up all over yeah, no, I don't know, but they got like everybody hates Chris on there. I, that's the only thing I watch on BET. This show, not pr- that I'm ragging BET, even though Boondocks did it in an amazing way, but <laughs> <laughs> they do. They show some good movies on there, like Friday, yeah. like uh, Boys in the Hood, yeah, Malcolm Soul X. Food. I think I saw Malcolm X on there. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely seems like it would be. On there. Yeah, but I, I rented Malcolm X once and watched it, and it was it was good. Yeah, Spike Lee. I don't know. It was Did Spike Lee, like yeah. a Spike Lee joint, as he yeah, likes to say. Spike Lee joint, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the Education Connection commercials. I think they they did a good job. Um, they need to follow it up, though. Like, like I'm in college and I graduated. Song, not like, or? A, like a follow up to the story, uh, but like a follow up and like they need a commercial that's just as good. So, like a whole different song. Maybe I I don't know if you could do another song. Uh, I mean. That's like too narrow thinking. You got to do like a whole other concept that's just as good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I, and I, 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 if I were in their position, I would also have like problems finding the next thing to do, which is why I see them repeating it and and uh, you know trying to tr- do the exact same thing. Here's, yeah. Here's an awkward girl. Here's a song. <laughs> I've seen the, the same exact song with a different girl. Yeah, I've definitely seen the same song with a different girl. That was weird. <laughs> but um I don't know. I guess uh we're we're wrapping up on time here. Yeah, I think I think there's gonna be four parts. Yeah, we didn't do that quick enough. That was really like ten minutes. So uh we'll go ahead and put the button up. Yeah. Vinny put the button up. I don't know how. <laughs> plug it. You don't know how? No, I don't know how to put the button up. This is all your duty. Well, I mean I'll do it later, but you gotta like announce that the button is going up. Yeah, there's a button going up. You should click it. When? Now. It's not up yet. You didn't. Oh, it's now not, it's not up yet. You, I think it's up. It's been up probably. It's been up. It's Since probably when? been up for probably the past thirty seconds. No. No. <laughs> you said now while I was talking over you, and that's probably when I'll put it up. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's been up for like fifteen seconds. Um, all right, well, we'll cl- click it. Come on, man. We're not click funny. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>